Hi everyone, John Martinson here in the jungle in Cambodia, founder of RoboLinux. Go ahead, call me Robo, everyone else does. Pretty exciting today. All three production RoboLinux 11.14 versions have been meticulously optimized. Get ready for this to boot up in only five seconds. For your entertainment, be sure to watch the parody video I have for you at the end of this video. This will be a short video. Um, doesn't take that much time to prove the speed of all three Robo Linux versions. If a user's Linux operating system slows down due to a configuration change caused by adding new software and peripherals, then the user can opt for a hand-coded custom fast boot installer which is based on a non-invasive boot diagnostics report emailed to RoboLinux. FOSBoot works on all System D Linux operating systems, that's right, about 500 operating systems, and has a tune-up option, which is used in the event that the boot time slows down after a few months. Now, in this particular demonstration, <clears throat> you can see the tune-up there, um, <clears throat> we're not gonna be using um, the FOSS boot because I've hard coded the production versions to boot in five seconds. Now, unfortunately, you're probably completely unaware of the last six major new versions that were released by RoboLinux. Let me show you why. Load Firefox. Now, I have mine strategically set to load uh, Robo Linux to see whether they're showing a new version. If you guys do that, every time you load your browser, we might stay on the top 100 and we won't go out of business. Now, the last update shows August 7th and it's version 1107. Okay, so let's see what really happened. We're going to go to SourceForge. Let's see. 11.13 was, was released about 19 days ago. And there was a little update there for 11.12, but it was actually released 24 days ago. Actually, 26 days ago, sorry. And then you have 11.11, which is two months ago. And then you have, let's see, 11.10, which is two months ago. Probably two, in a, two months in a week or something. And then you have 11.09, released you know, two months ago in three weeks or something like that. Uh, you can look up the dates if you want to. Um, and you've got 11.08, and you got, then you have finally the 11.07, which was three months ago. Now, the other thing you're probably not aware of is this amazing review that we got on Tech News World, where it, they review, it's a very long review, and it's a good one, the best one we've ever had, where the reviewer says that the newest RoboLinux 11 update, which nobody knows about, thanks to dis, your distro at distrowatch.com, goes far beyond typical Linux, and it explains all the benefits and what we do. And, and one of the things that uh, you'll notice about this review is it's current which is nice because over here, the last review on DistroWatch is about 10 years ago. Uh, of course, they review everybody else's operating systems as they are released, but they won't review ours, and I don't know why the guy hates RoboLinux, but it is what it is. Um, probably doesn't like our login screen. Um, anyway, which can be changed, of course. Now I'm going to prove to you that all three 11.14 production versions boot up in five seconds. And then after that, I will show the parody video. It's really funny. So stay tuned for that. And this is the production version of RoboLinux Cinnamon version 11.14. So it does not have fast boot installed and you wouldn't need it unless your machine were running a boot time slower than five to seven seconds. So let's see what this production version, which has been 
optimize as far as I can possibly take it. Let's see how fast it boots. We can use the fast boot boot up time report. And let's see. Five point eight one six seconds. Okay. And there you have it. I dare say this is the fastest cinnamon Linux version available today. And here is the Robo Linux Mate 3D version 11.14 production version. Let's see how fast this one boots. And we'll go up and use the fast boot boot up time report and see what that says. 5.640 seconds with a 3.6 kernel load and a 2.022 second user space. I would say that's the fastest Mate Linux version available today. And here is the Robolinux uh, XFCE 11.14 production version. And we'll see how fast this one boots up by using fast boot time or boot up time report. Um, you have to go to system in XFCE. And we'll go ahead and click that. It's at the top. See how fast this one is on boot. 5.839 seconds, 3.7 kernel, 2.1 second user space. And I would have to say that this is the fastest XFCE Linux version available today. There's a terrible disease going around infecting millions of people. It's highly contagious, creating the worst pandemic the world's ever seen. If we don't act now, it's going to keep spreading, potentially infecting everyone. The disease is a mental condition called intelligence. Intelligence is a very contagious disease spreading around the globe at unprecedented rates. It's threatening to destroy the world as we know it. Symptoms of intelligence include thinking for yourself, elevated levels of self-responsibility, nuanced thought, the desire for freedom, acts of bravery, and an intolerance to being controlled by fear. We don't know much about intelligence, how it works, or how it spreads but there's very strong evidence it's easily transmitted through ideas, self-expression, and human connection. Together, we can slow the spread of intelligence, but we all must practice strict obedience to the following guidelines. Socially distance yourself from critical thought. Sanitize your mind with the news. Rely on other people to tell you what's true for you. And wear a face suffocator to reduce the amount of oxygen going to your brain. Additionally, we'll need to permanently shut down the economy to fight this dangerous infection with the weapons of poverty and despair. We're also working with our partners at the social media giants who are strongly committed to ending intelligence by censoring free speech on their platforms. If you find yourself accidentally thinking for yourself or think you may have come in contact with someone infected with intelligence, please self-quarantine in front of the news for 14 days and seek the medical guidance of your local computer programmer. With this infection, it's also advisable to put your entire trust in the hands of people who, in the past, have been found guilty in antitrust lawsuits, and outsource your entire thinking, well-being, and choices to people who aren't you. It's your social duty to help out and do your part. If we all work together, we can rid the world of intelligence once and for all. I hope you enjoyed that parody video. And I like to end all my videos with uh, these thoughts and this prayer. I hope you have a lovely day somehow in this incredibly ridiculous world. And may Yahweh bless you and your family greatly. This is Robo, and I'm out.